probably the best approach on what I'd recommend for you guys to do on your social media. So let's break it down. So step one would be filming monthly events. So this is something you guys already do. These monthly events, if you guys have five employees and five people filming content, let's say each person films five clips, you have five employees, now you have 25 clips, and that's probably good enough for the whole month. So that's one source of content. Next source of content is filming all the training. So Brian, you or the manager of your store probably do training every week, whether it's on Zoom, whether it's in person. And that's something you guys could also film because that can definitely be used for content. The third thing is the account manager. So all the different brands you have come in and they explain their products, film them talk about that product. So if all you did was just film the training, which you're going to do anyways, that's going to be more than enough content for us to then produce daily pieces of content from. Definitely does not have to be professional. It can be done on your phone. If you really want to take it seriously, you can get employees to film, say, one piece of content every single day. Like this is what I do. If I had a brick and mortar store, if there's no customers and they're just sort of doing some chores or errands or they're on their phone, you can tell people, hey, if there's no one in store, I want you to film content, film the empty store, or film a certain product, talk like have them film content during the downtime. Let's say a person works eight hours, nine to five. Out of those eight hours, they're probably talking to customers at most 50% of the time, 60% of the time. So you have two or three hours where they're not doing anything. They can ask them during their downtime to film content. All of a sudden, now you are happy when your employees are on their phone because they're filming content for you guys. So that's sort of what I recommend with the filming of content. Step two is storage system. So I was gonna recommend you guys to have your own NAS or Google Drive, but I think that's gonna be pretty complicated. So what we might do is I might give you guys access to one of my NAS or Google Drives, where you guys can just dump all your content into this sort of drive and me and my team can organize and store all your footage. You've probably done five, six events now. If I were to ask you, hey, can you get me the content from those five, six events? You guys probably have no idea where all these pieces of content are. So that's sort of why the storage system, the vault, is super important because as this grows eventually it'll get to a point where let's say you have 20 30 50 hours worth of content you can technically stop filming content but we can just churn through that vault of content and constantly create new fresh videos based on new trends new trending songs new trending fonts new trending sort of editing style new social media platforms and just reuse all those content that you filmed over the last two or three years so the vault and storage system is very important and we can definitely set up in a way like just give you a google drive link and just upload or give you a NAS link because you could just upload all your content onto my company's NAS and Google Drive and we can manage that all for you. So that's step two. Step three is hiring an editor. This is probably the hard part. We have a down packed hiring method. We can find you guys amazing editors for really cheap. You're looking at 500 USD per month. They'll be working probably 160 hours per month. So 500 divided by 160. So you're looking for around $3.125 per hour. And these guys are creating amazing edits. The edits that we sent you guys the other day, those are the type of edits you'll be getting. Next will be the distribution, really important. We can start by hiring someone part-time, $200 an hour. They'll probably be working, let's say 200, divide that by 500, which is the usual salary, 40%, six, 160 times 40. So they're probably working 64 hours a month and they'll be repurposing and uploading all these edits to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. Those are the four platforms. If you are happy, we can definitely give this upload of more hours, either maybe 120 hours, 200 a month, and then they can then distribute to like Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn is really important, Reddit. Sometimes we, we've been getting okay results from Reddit. So we can definitely have more content. But the goal of this is to have the one edit per day. With $200 a month, you can now have four pieces of content released on four different platforms every single day. Eventually we can get up to a point where you have seven platforms. So every single day, you're uploading seven pieces of content and basically you just re-upload that one content, making it contextual to that platform. Eventually, if you're getting results, like right now with me and my team, we do five pieces of content per platform times up by seven platforms. So we are pumping out 35 pieces of content just for the Animai brand. And then I have my e-commerce brand, I have like a fashion brand, that's also pumping out another third. So every day, me and my team, we're pumping out 70 pieces of content and we're getting a bunch of organic reach that covers the costs for these employees from the Philippines. So you're looking at around probably 700 USD per month. Like if you hire a full-time social media 
person for like say 50k a year 55 60k a year i doubt they'll be able to pump one piece of content every single day 365 times a year like they would struggle at 700 usd a month you're paying 8400 a year one eighth of the price of a full-time employee and you're getting more output high quality work since they're contractors you won't have to worry about super benefits etc so i highly recommend this setup fifth is goal and target pivot so as you build up the storage vault and you have say 50 hours of content whenever we go through seasonal content weather events you want to now focus on whatever you want to target for that month all the content organized in a way for whatever pivot whatever thing you want to start pushing more we can start changing the content based on your new goal for that month and then the advertising strat, this is more higher level. The reason why we want to pump out a piece of content every single day is you want to see what performs well. This is basically a free way to test content so that once a piece of content goes viral, we know that's proven to work. It's no longer build a following and blast the content against all the followers. It's now been shifted away where you can have no following, put out a piece of content. If a content does well, that means those are the content that will pump advertising budget behind. We're now pivoting to a period of now putting out organic content see what works find the thing that works put money and boost and budget behind the thing that works that's sort of a new advertising model that brands are slowly pivoting to that is the whole model let me know your thoughts if you want to get started it'll probably take one to two weeks to hire the editor and sort of hire the distributor i wouldn't be able to use my team members because my team members are fully booked already um you know they're pumping out 70 pieces of content for my e-commerce and me so i'm definitely gonna have to hire you guys a new employee that can basically solely work for your brand and i think it'll be better because if they're editing barbecue foxy appliance ads every single day they're just going to get better and better and they're going to be able to get your taste and over time it's just going to be much more better so i think i'm going to hire you guys a separate editor a distributor just for you guys that's going to cover the cost for those two employees i'm more than happy to do this completely for free for the first one month or one and a half month which is probably 700 and then another half month worth of salary or let's say two months so looking at 1400 usd for two months worth of content and if you guys are happy with the output and you guys want to continue it maybe i can then go ahead and add on a performance managing fee so let's say it's 700 a month we can round it up to a thousand i keep 300 usd a month just to cover the management payroll worry about all the communication and guiding them in the right direction as well as let's say an editor leaves and finds a new job i'll handle the hiring of a new editor and the training of the new editor because that's going to happen right now with my team a lot of my employees have stayed for a long time but at our peak we're at like 30. A lot of people have come and go. Now the 16 are all long-term employees that have stayed with us for anywhere from one to three years. But there is a churn rate. When you're hiring new people, they do tend to leave and find new jobs that have a higher salary, etc. So we'll manage all the new hires. If that happens, that rarely happens because we have a new sort of hiring process that really qualifies and looks for the serious people that are hungry for a job. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. But for the $300 a month, we'll be managing everything and looking after them. As you guys want to increase outputs, and let's say you want to go from four pieces of content out a day to eight pieces of content out a day, then we'll We'll probably need to hire another second editor and i guess we can renegotiate my sort of management fee for that so that's what i'm thinking so if you guys are happy after the first two months we can then make it a thousand a month and that will cover everything here also like the storage the organizing of your content and we have like a five thousand dollar nas that has pro like i think eight terabytes times up by eight bays so we have like 64 terabytes worth of content and that was pretty expensive so i think that's fair let me know your thoughts worst case scenario we do this for two months at cost price 700 usd per month we give you the two editors i hire i find it i do it completely for free after two months you're not really happy with the results we can wrap it up from there my goal is to make sure that you guys get a lot of reach you guys are happy with the content so that i can get paid and we can continue working and if this all fits out i can then probably send you guys a stripe invoice for 700 usd per month let's see how much is that in australian dollars that might be better since they're from philippines we pay them in us dollars because that's their main currency but we're looking at a thousand thirty five australian dollars per month i'm not too worried about the changing in conversion rates 
If the conversion rate changes drastically, then we can reset it back in credit invoice for $1,035 Australian dollars. Give you guys a simple Stripe invoice and this would be the video proposal. I don't usually have a contract or any layout, but what you guys can be expecting is four pieces of content over four platforms every single day, 30 pieces of content times that by four platforms. So that is 120 pieces of content per month. That would be the KPI that we would be aiming for. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out. Let me know if you guys have any question whatsoever. Peace.